There's an area called Clermont-Ferrand in France, and it saw a record high of 105.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and the country could see temperatures as high as 110 degrees by tomorrow. That is very unusual. Public health warnings also in effect in Belgium, Italy, and Switzerland. While some governments are slow to act, some businesses are saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can do this and make money. Net Power is a partnership of four energy and infrastructure companies, including Eight Rivers Capital, which has developed the world's first emissions-free natural gas-powered plant currently being demonstrated at a facility in Laporte, Texas, that promises 100% carbon capture. Eight Rivers CEO and President Bill Brown, a businessman who's passionate about this, joins us now from the Aspen Ideas Festival, where he will be on a climate change panel front and center tomorrow. Uh, let me first get your gut reaction about last night's debate. Do you think that it should have uh, had, had more of a central discussion here? Actually, Liz, I think the majority of, of Americans think that climate change is a problem. And one of the problems when people get too deep into climate change is they start coming up with their own variety of solutions for it. And the fact is, we just simply need to focus on solving the problem. We need to focus on the destination. Any way we get there is a great way. Okay. And, and you're on the way, or so you say you are. Let's hear about your 100% carbon captured, meaning no emissions power plant that you have developed that you say uses fossil fuels, natural gas, but no release right. of emissions. No release of emissions. We basically just started with a clean sheet of paper. We thought, what happens if we just focus on capturing the CO2 as the primary goal and producing electricity as the secondary goal? And when we did that, we used pretty much the same Lego blocks, but we put them together differently. And the thing, the very core of what we did is we got rid of something really, really old, and that's called steam. And we're using carbon dioxide instead to drive our turbine. We turn the problem into the solution. And it's called the alum cycle, and we have an a animation right now on the screen. And uh, we find this really interesting because, most importantly, as a business network, you know, we, we, we talk about the green as in the Green New Deal, but we also talk about green as in money. Tell us about the cost, because part of the problem with a lot of these efforts in their early stages is they're, they're expensive, whether it's solar or what have you. Yeah, absolutely. The problem, Liz, is that most solutions to problems are incremental. They just start off on adding something onto a system, making it more expensive. And as I said, we started with a clean sheet of paper. And our goal was not only to make it clean, but also cheaper. We wanted to make it so cheap to go green that you wouldn't think about going dirty. And that way we combine two greens into one, green power and making it cheap. Okay, but, but is it cheaper? Can you, can you say it that it's going to My bill or it, my business's bill is going to go down? Your bills will go down. Serial number one will be cheaper, will be around 2.1 cents uh, per kilowatt hour, and that will be aided by the fact that we also sell some other generated gases. But overall, this thing is going to be in the two cent range. Have you sold any of these systems yet? We've got one working down in Houston, Texas right now, and we're working on sites all around the world, New Zealand, Abu Dhabi, London, uh, all over the United States. Well, you know what? Um, those are some, some big oil areas, Abu Dhabi and certainly Texas. I'm, I'm so interested to see how this plays out, Bill, because it seems like you're apolitical. You're more of a businessman who's trying to make this work. Absolutely. One thing I learned, and with all due respect to politicians, they do what they do, I do what I do. And what I do is I figure out how to make money and give people what they want. Well, you say you're doing it with net power and the alum cycle. We'll be watching this. Thank you so much, Bill.